So as I was saying, are you feeling anxiety, fear, depression? Do you suffer from PTSD? Do you suffer from chronic conditions like um, chronic pain or other types of chronic illness? I was suffering with all of those things. And um, I wanted to do a video today to explain to you how I moved the needle on that because I was on a healing journey for two and a half years with my physical health. And that included my mental health, all of that. But two and a half years of doing the medical medium protocols. And I'm so grateful for the medical medium protocols because he really did help me um, move the needle from where I was, which was just getting worse and worse and worse with RA, MS, um, fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue syndrome. I had so many things going on neurologically, and I also had anxiety, depression, PTSD, all of these things. And the reason I wanna talk about this today, I know I haven't talked about health really in a while, but the reason I wanna talk about this today is I hit a plateau in that journey, and I couldn't seem to get unstuck. And, you know, so I, I had reached a certain level of healing and I was doing a lot better and I was ready to move back into society and I was feeling very pulled to live my purpose as a coach, as a healer, as a teacher. And I couldn't figure out how the heck I was going to get myself out of the kitchen and be able to um, be able to have enough time to actually help people build a business, get my word out. You know, even going on Facebook once or twice a week was like, when am I gonna do it? It was a real struggle. And so I wanted to talk about that because I know that I have run into so many people in all of the medical medium community, but also just other chronic illness communities that have been dealing with this, have been struggling with this. You know, it's really difficult to, um, to work or earn a living or just do the things that light you up, even if it's not for income, if it's just things that you really want to do, even spending time with family and friends, going to restaurants, going on vacations, things like that, that I was not able to do because I was constantly chained to the kitchen. I was a slave to my health. And, um, and I knew something needed to change because I was just exhausted by it all. I was frustrated. I didn't want to do that anymore. And I didn't know how to move out of that because my body still wanted all of these things, this special diet and all this stuff. And yet it was like preventing me from doing the things that I really felt pulled to do and really loved. And so, um, I wanted to share with you guys today what what worked for me and what has worked for so many of my clients to help pull them out of that because I do work with a lot of people who've been in the um, the medical medium community or who've been dealing with chronic illness of some type for a long time whether it's in mental and emotional or physical or both and you know I've seen this work for so many people including myself and it's really changed my life and I, I, what I'm talking about is the brain game. And, you know, I've been talking about the brain game a lot. I just became certified about a month ago um, to teach the brain game. And I'm really excited about that because when I was doing my coaching and, you know, even back when I was doing my holistic health coaching, I kept wanting to share the brain game with them. And I, I knew how much it had changed things for me. And so I knew after that first round of brain game that I definitely wanted to teach this. And I wanted to share this with everyone I possibly could because it made such a huge difference in my health. And, it, and by doing so, it also made huge shifts in my finances, which I've been talking about a lot, and also my personal relationships. And so, um, so I wanted to explain a little bit about how that works and why the brain game was so different and why it moved the needle. And what it does is, you know, one of the things that I learned in the brain game was what's going on in my physical body in terms of my fight flight nervous system. And that was huge because even though I knew I was, you know, constantly in fight flight, I didn't know really what the what the physical responses were that were going on in my body and how to 
um, how to respond to that, how to manage that, how to, um, how to move into states of more peace and ease. And the brain game taught me how to do that. And it taught me also how to um, allow myself to feel my emotions. A lot of my chronic illness was being exacerbated by emotions getting stuck in my body. And so welcome if you're joining on the live. Good to see you. Drop a, a comment and let me know where you're joining from. And, and if you've had experiences with chronic illness or PTSD, anxiety, anything like that, because um, I learned about this in the brain game. I learned about how to uh, tap into my emotions, which I really had turned off. I had really shut them off. I had really... Um, I had really lost connection with my emotions. I was feeling angry all the time. I was feeling fear. I was feeling anxious, but I didn't know how to name a lot of my emotions. I didn't know how to shift them. I didn't even know that was possible. I thought you just feel the way you feel and you deal with it. And I mean, I kind of knew like certain things would help, like going out in the sun or some things like that might not, maybe not eating gluten would help, you know, shift some of the depression, things like that. But I didn't know like that I could actually choose my emotions and I didn't know how to do that. I didn't know I could shift them. And the brain game taught me all of that and really simple, easy tools and practices so that I could learn how to do that. And it really shifted a lot of things for me in my body because once I was able to, um, to be able to shift out of certain states of being, I would interrupt these cycles that constantly produced adrenaline and other hormones in my body to be released that kept me in that fight flight state all the time. And when you're in that fight flight state all the time, especially if you follow a medical medium, he talks about the adrenaline being a problem and the cortisol and all of that being a problem in terms of exacerbating your chronic pain, your, your symptoms, right? Whatever symptoms you're having and, you know, whether they're mental, emotional or physical or both. And so, you know, learning how to shift out of those states of constantly triggering my fight flight nervous system and getting stuck in a loop of it. So literally I was spending almost all of my time in my fight flight nervous system. And this is where actually most people do spend a lot of their time because they are conditioned to do that. We are conditioned to do that in our society and the way we live. It's this glorification of busy, it's stress, it's, you know, planet stress that we live on. And, you know, we're always um, trying to do way more than we really were designed to do at one time. And this, the whole way our society is designed is so backwards and so geared to keep us in this state of fight flight all the time. And, you know, that's a whole other discussion I talk about when I talk about um, my cult experience and how, you know, being overworked and underslept and, you know, not, not doing self-care and all of that can affect your ability to see things clearly and, again, to stay out of that fight-flight nervous system. But also, um, but also I notice like, that, um, you know, that constant, um, constant need to, keep, to be busy all the time and, and piling more and more on and the expectations, all of that stuff keeps you in this fight flight nervous system. And this is when you start developing symptoms in the body. And you know, for me, I started developing symptoms a long time before I was like knocked down by chronic illness. Because what do we do? We ignore the symptoms or we put a Band-Aid over them, you know, we take, take an aspirin or a Tylenol or a Tums or whatever it is to mask the symptoms. And, um, and instead of listening to our body and listening to the messages we're getting. And so I wanted to really um, share all this today because that really, when I learned all of this in the brain game and how it actually works and how to shift this, it really changed my health. It really changed what was going on in my body because I was able to spend more time in that 
rest repose state of being, which is where our body was actually designed to be. And so um, really important if you're dealing with chronic health issues. And even if you're not, and you're concerned about possibly developing them because you know certain family members have things or whatever, is really understanding that when you start becoming um, aware of what's going on in your body, you can even avoid a lot of these pitfalls and, and avoid falling into states of chronic illness if you're not already there. Also, just managing the, your levels of stress and things like that, it helps so much. But here's the thing. So there's more to this than that. And the brain game takes you through all of this. So when I learned how to um, let go of things that I hold resentments I had been holding on or states of unforgiveness, things like that. I, it also takes you through a process that really helps you understand and change your perceptions around what is happening in your world and understanding that the way you've been seeing things isn't necessarily the way things actually are. It's, it's, it's our perceptions and we all have different perceptions and you can take, you know, someone who has, um, you can take someone who has a, a two people who can see the same event happen and have completely different perceptions, right? You can have, you know, two witnesses to a car accident and they'll have seen it completely differently and they'll describe it completely differently because they're perceiving it different even though they witnessed the very same event at the same time, even maybe from the same angle and they still have a different perception of it. So um, when you learn about how that all works and, um, and you start examining that, oh, maybe my perception is a little bit skewed here. And you know, it's so interesting because the, the time we're in right now, it's a lot about perceptions, how we perceive things, right? And we're, we're being hit with a lot of big changes in the world and a lot of um, interesting events, a lot of things being revealed to us that we perceived very differently in the past and now we're starting to look at them differently. And so this whole idea around perceptions is very timely in terms of what's going on also in the world today. But, um, I wanted to also, you know, so that's another piece of it. Then the, the brain game goes even a step further and it takes you into um, how, you, how you start perceiving and understanding who you are truly as a person and what you came here to do, what's important to you, why it's important to you, and, um, and really, really getting a sense of what your purpose is and what you want to create and how does this change your health well <laughs> it changes your health a lot because one of the reasons that we end up in states of dis-ease is because we are out of alignment with our true authentic self and so when we come more and more into alignment with that true self we start to see, we, we notice that the disease starts lifting. It lifts from our body because we don't need those messages from the body anymore telling us that we're out of alignment. And so we can experience quite um, a shift in our health. And, you know, I'm still in this process of shifting through to, to total health and vitality, which is what I called in. As I keep expanding, I keep reaching new levels of of needing to come into alignment with my new expanded version of myself, which is so fun and so fascinating. And I've started to embrace some of the symptoms that come up, you know, and um, really be grateful for the body sharing with me when I'm not in alignment so that I know I need to come into alignment to really experience the experiences that I would want to have, that I desire, that I'm creating. And, and it kind of, you know, shows me, oh, you're, you know, you need to look at something here because, you know, you're like, for instance, right now I have styes in both of my eyes and, you know, so it's like, oh, what, what perception am I still carrying that's not serving my new big vision? and starting to look at that and get curious about that and allow those answers to be revealed. And that way I can start shifting things so that I can start coming into more alignment with my big vision. I mean, it's really hard to summarize everything that the brain game does for you, 
um, or did for me when I um, experienced it and what it's been doing for my clients. But, you know, these are just some of the key points that I want to make about um, how it shifted my health because I was really stuck. And now I'm not having to spend as much time in the kitchen and yet I'm still able to eat healthy. I'm still able to support my body and um, pay attention to what it needs. But things have just shifted because my health has shifted. Things have become easier. I'm now able to go out to restaurants and enjoy time with friends. I can go on a date. I can do things like that. You know, I can go on vacation and um, I'm able to I'm able to find the things that I need to eat and I have a little more flexibility and I certainly feel better in my body. Um, and one of the things that I wanted to share that's new is that just in the past month, um, I took a trip to the Midwest to see my family. And when I came back, um, I, didn't, I didn't feel the resonance with my chiropractor anymore. And so I stopped seeing her and I started looking for a new chiropractor. And in the meantime, I didn't have a chiropractor to go to. And I was used to getting adjustments twice a week. And I thought that my body needed those adjustments twice a week. And actually what happened is in this process of looking through a new for a new chiropractor, I have realized that I don't actually need chiropractic anymore. I went... I've gone two weeks now without an adjustment and I still feel fine. So there's been some new level of shifting in my health as I continue on this journey and continue using the tools of the brain game. And it's really exciting to me. And I mean, I never thought in a million years I would not need chiropractic anymore. I thought I was always going to have to go to chiropractor for my, the rest of my life, even if it was just once a month for maintenance when I re reached a certain level of health, but I never thought I could just not need it. And so this has been a huge shift in my perception and my belief systems that has come through by doing this work. And so what do you think is possible for you? You know, like what could be possible? Get curious about that. You know, um, there's an event this weekend, um, called Brain Game Live that'll give you a taste test of what the Brain Game's all about. And it's a very small investment to do, um, $97 for three jam-packed days of transformational uh, experiences that you're gonna have just in this weekend. And it'll give you a taste of what that is like. And then if you really love what you're experiencing this weekend, which I think you will, I am starting a new round of the Brain Game on Tuesday the 14th at 12 p.m. and we are going to embark on a group journey together. I also do it individually but the group experience is so much fun and it's so um, I, I like both. I like both so whatever you feel pulled to but um, but we are starting the group experience on Tuesday and I'm really excited about this round. I feel there's going to be some huge huge transformational shifts, lots of big breakthroughs with the people coming in. And I'm really, really excited about that. And I'm really honored to be able to guide that for the people who are coming in and really excited for them. So I just feel all of the big shifts coming and I know what, what's happened in the past with clients and what's happened with myself and what continues to happen with myself and the clients who keep using the tools and it's it's just been amazing amazing just big shifts in health big shifts in money shifts in how they do business how they show up in the world their relationships with other people their romantic relationships so many different things and um you know i i just i'm so I'm so in love with this, this brain game tool. It's just amazing and um, can't say enough about it. So if you do feel stuck in your healing journey, I can't recommend this enough. And you can try it out this weekend, like I said, for a very small fee. And I'll even deduct that fee from your brain game uh, course if you decide to go ahead and do the full 10 weeks with me. So there's no risk for um, trying it out this weekend. and even if you just do the weekend and you don't go forward, you're going to get so much out of the weekend. So 
I hope you do decide to join us and I'm really looking forward. I am presenting there as well. I'm doing a workshop there. We're going to be talking a lot about this idea of perceptions and how to shift them and, um, and how that's worked, you know, in my life and with my clients and how it can work for you. So I hope you'll join us. And I did put the link in the description for Brain Game Live. If you're interested and you know you're already a yes for um, the full Brain Game experience, then uh, send me a message or you can click the link in my bio and have a chat with me about it and um, we can get you started. So have a wonderful rest of your day. I hope this live was helpful to you, especially for so many of you who have been stuck in your healing journey. I know how frustrating that is. And it's just, I'm passionate about helping people come out of that and really experiencing the joy and the freedom and the happiness and all of that that they deserve in their life. We all deserve this. We're all worthy of this and we can all have it. I'm not special. I've seen so many of my clients go through this and have the same or similar results that I know it's not just me. So there's many, many hundreds of people who've already gone through this and had huge transformations in health, in financial picture, all of that. And I've experienced all of that in all areas of my life. And that's why I'm passionate about sharing this. So hope this helps and let me know in the comments if this resonated with you, if you have questions or you can message me privately if you prefer. And I'm looking forward to seeing you this weekend. Bye-bye now.